Good morning, YouTube. Uh, today, I am doing a full service on a 2015 Polaris Sportsman 570. Um, we're going to do oil change and filter. We're going to do spark plug. We're going to do transmission service, a flush and uh, add transmission fluid. And we're going to do the differentials, and we're also going to top off the coolant. Um, so it's going to be a full service. It has 2,400 miles on it, I believe. So this is the first full service for this one. All right, so uh, I have it up on blocks, uh, my ramps. Um, it is a little tricky to get the ramps up. What you got to do is kind of start, start it, and the rear ramps don't fit between the wheels. So you got to kind of angle them out and then start it up the ramps and then kind of push them in and then you can get it up. But this is so I have clearance to get to the differentials. Okay, so that's what we're going to start on. I'll be right back once I have uh, the shrouds off and the seat off and everything and we can get working. Okay, so we have the seat off. We have the airbox open. We have the side panels off and I also have on the left side I have the running board, the, 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 foot, uh, the foot brace off so we can get to the, uh, the belt drive. He wants me to inspect the belt drive and make sure it's running, uh, it's looking good and there's no frays on it. So like I said, both sides, we are, we're open. Here's the oil fill. Spark plug is right there. Air filter. So we're going to start with those three things. Here's the uh, sides, the side shrouds, the seat, the, uh, the, the running board, and then we have the cover for the, um, for the air filter. Most of the plastic pieces come off with these plastic push pins. You're gonna need a pick to pick out the center piece and then pull the rest out with the, with the pick. Um, the, the running board is in with um, their uh, T27 hex heads and the um, the the lock nuts are um, seven seven sixteenths. Yeah, so so T twenty seven T twenty seven and seven sixteenths, and then some of them that go into the uh, into the rear fender are just in with. Um, they have the uh, brackets on on the rear fender. They have these these uh, fastener brackets, but the um, the ones on the floorboard go in to this metal plate. So those are with, with these uh, locking nuts, yeah, but they're all T27. Okay, so that's what you need so far. That's the tools you need so far. So I'm going to do the air filter right now, the spark plug, and we'll change the oil. Uh, this looks like we can either use a flathead screwdriver or maybe a uh, six millimeter. And we're also gonna put a pre-filter like this. It, we're uh, living in the desert here with very fine dust. So it's always good to have a pre-filter on your filter and that'll keep the filter running longer. You can just take this off and wash it, run some water over it and clean it off. So we're gonna replace all that. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, we have the new oil filter in, I mean oil, fil air filter in with the pre-filter on it. It's a very thin sheen skin. Like I said, this you can wash and it'll keep your, your uh, regular filter cleaner in a desert environment. So we have the, um, the spark plug, the, the coil um, is off, not the coil, but the, uh, the element, the element that goes on top of the spark plug. I just wanted to give you, this is the, it's an NGK. Uh, 95897, 95897, MR7F, MR7 Frank. Okay, make sure when you're putting in your new spark plug, all these heads are aluminum. The spark plugs are metal and the heads are aluminum. So you want to use some anti-seize lubricant. It's, it's a silver... Um, lubricant and you put it on the threads and that way the uh, the metal the the steel will not um, kind of seize up on the aluminum 
this will keep it when you have to change the park spark plugs again you just just put it on your threads you just start at the bottom put some on it and it'll, it'll go through the whole thing okay so this is it i'm gonna put that spark plug in right now but i just wanted to show you that a uh, little tip before i start okay just a piece a quick piece of advice um when you're trying to get your socket in there for that uh spark plug it's pretty it's pretty deep so you can't use a short extension and you can't use you can't use a long let me get it out here you can't use a long extension that's too long that backs up into the uh, gas tank so what you got to do is if you have a really short one like this and a short one put those two together and then you can get down into the uh the well that the spark plugs in and you can use use a shorty a shorty 3 8 if you have it because uh, there's not a lot of room and then you can get it out pretty quick all right just a word of advice this is the old spark plug so it definitely looks like it needed changing pretty uh, burned up okay he said he was having backfiring and it was it wasn't running smooth so i said let's change the spark plug so it looks like it's a good thing that we did all right, uh, on to the next step. Okay, so the oil plug is a six millimeter, six millimeter Allen. Um, the kit comes with a new copper washer. So we have the new copper washer on. We've drained the oil. We're taking out the, uh, we're draining the old oil filters back in, in there. I don't know, let's see if I can. All right, it's, that, it's in a weird spot. So we're draining the oil filter. If yours is on really tight, get one of these. This is a uh, oil filter socket. It is a 65, it looks like 65, 67, 65, 67. So that's what you need. Uh, use a shorty th uh, three eighths to get in there because you have to come in you have to come in this way underneath your belt drive to get to it. So we're draining there. Oil's already drained. And your fill is on this side. So I'm just waiting for that. Your fill's over here. I've already cleaned up. This was, of course, because it's down low. This was completely filthy. So I cleaned it. I cleaned the gasket, the rubber O-ring. And uh, that's your fill right there. So I'm just waiting for it to completely drain. And then I'm gonna put the new filter on and we're gonna fill up the oil. And I'm gonna have to look up to see how much it takes. Be right back. Okay, the oil change is finished. I just wanna go over with you again. So here's the new oil filter. Make sure you put some fresh oil on the O-ring and then uh, hand tighten, hand tighten that. The uh, six millimeter Allen key is back up in here i don't know exactly where it is but it's back up in there with a brand new copper washer and then we added two full quarts it's two quarts even on the uh right here on the fill plug so 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 far we've got the filter done the air filter new spark plug oil service is done um, we've checked and inspected the radiator. This is where you can get to your radiator. Uh, so you lift up your, your top, your front cargo um, bay, and there's this little access panel that sits kind of like this. Okay, you take it off, it's, it's uh, four torques. Was it T25? I think it's T25. And, oh, oh, that. Yeah, T25, they go right there. And then this is your fill. We were full, so uh, we just topped off. That's yeah, T25. T25. We just topped off the, uh, this is your overflow. So we topped that off, that was completely empty. All right, so now we're gonna do the transmission service. So the transmission service, if you go to the, so we're on the left side, left side of the quad on your rear case. So this is the left rear tire. That's your fill right here this is your fill bolt and it's an eight millimeter allen okay and you go around to the right side and you go up under here that is your drain i've already cleaned it with brake clean 
So that's your drain, eight millimeter also. Just have a pan and uh, for, for splashing and have a bucket. This takes one full quart to fill. All right, so we're gonna drain it and um, clean those bolts and then put in one quart and then the transmission's done, then we have to do the front differential and then we're finished with everything. Okay, so we have the uh, rear differential slash transmission drained. We have the plug put back in and then we're just gonna clean that up with some brake clean. And now on the other side, it's a, it's a, it's basically a vertical, it's a vertical port. So there's no way to do it with just a regular funnel. So if you have some old hose, that's a good enough size. You'll be able to put, you put the hose in there and then you can fill your funnel up. Hey, like that. Always keep, when you're doing work and you, you're replacing hoses or things, keep an old piece of hose or just go buy some, some like one foot long pieces at uh, auto, an auto supply place, you know, AutoZone or, or um, O'Reilly's in different like uh, three eighths, uh, half inch, uh, five sixteenths, whatever, one inch hosing. That way you have some hosing lay around so you can do this. Otherwise there's no way to do it without it pouring all over the place. All right, so we're gonna add, this is one quart for the transmission and rear differential. It's all one, it's all one case. So we're gonna add one quart. Okay, for the front differential, we've got, we've got it drained already and cleaned off. Eight millimeter again. And the port, the fill port is, is a real pain in the ass. You can see I have this hose going down into it because it's way down. You don't know if I can even show you where it is. No, I can't get the phone in there really. So it's down in there. Um, that's also eight millimeters, very hard to get to because he has a, a winch on it. If the winch wasn't here, it'd be easy to get to. But because, uh, there you go, the, yeah, you can see it, but I can't focus on it. Okay, so down there, so this takes uh, 255 milliliters, nine ounces, 255 milliliters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a graduated cylinder we're gonna pour out 255 milliliters and then we're just gonna put it down the funnel right into the front differential. And then that's finished. And then the last thing is inspection of the drive belt and then all the service is finished. All right, next step. Okay, I didn't go over the fluids. So we're using all Polaris fluids. This is the, uh, the differential fluid. This was the, this was the transmission, the AGL fluid. Um, two quarts of the oil the PS4 SAE 5 weight 50 um, Polaris oil filter Polaris oil filter model number 252799 uh, we went over the spark plug and then the air filter, I'll just show it to you, I can't get out of the box. Air filter is 7082101, 7082101. So we have uh, 200, this is my graduated cylinder. We have 200, let me focus, 255 milliliters. And we're just going to pour this into our funnel. And that's going to be the end of the uh, front diff. Okay, uh, final part of this service was removing the, the uh, bell shroud to inspect the belt and the clutch and everything. And everything looks good from here. Nice and clean, the belt's in good condition on both sides. So just to recap everything, um, spark plug up here, air filters right here with that extra shroud over it for the desert. We added coolant right here. This is your overflow. And the, what do you call it, it's in here. The actual radiator cap is in there. Um, let's go around the other side. We have oil fill here. Remember the, um, the what do you call it, it's down in there, right there, is the oil 
I can't get a good picture of it right there. Oil filter down there. Drain plug is underneath here. The uh, drain plug for your rear transmission and your rear differential, a uh, rear transmission, your transmission and your rear differential is right here. Fill plug is on the other side, on the left side, which is right there. And then your fill plug is right here for the front differential, very hard to get to. And your drain plug is up under there. So that's, that's everything. So that's oil change and filter, transmission service, front differential, new spark plug, new air filter, uh, topped off the coolant, and then we inspected, we inspected the drive belt. So that's a full service. We did that at 2,400 miles. Any questions or comments, leave it down below. In the comments section, Mike Machines out.